You're watching Seahawks Today, powered by Chat Sports. Tyler Jones here with you. Thanks for joining us. As today, we're talking all about Chris Peterson, a legend around these parts, the former Washington and Boise State head coach. He weighed in on Seahawks head coach Mike McDonald and the Seattle Seahawks entering 2024 and had some very kind words to say. We'll show you what he said, react to it, and more coming up on today's program. Now, if you're like me, are you excited about the college football season? I sure am. I had to represent today, wearing my crimson and blue, representing my Kansas Jayhawks. Big game tonight against Lindenwood, the official kickoff of the college football season this weekend. I'm actually headed to the USC-LSU game in Vegas on Sunday. If you're like me and you're ready for some college football, like the video, shout out your favorite team in the comment section. You might be a Husky fan, a Coog, an Oregon Duck, whoever it is, let it be known loud and proud. Spam it in the comment section who you're rooting on, and we'll get started with today's show. Coach Pete, a legend in college football with what he did both at Washington and at Boise State. When he has something to say, everybody kind of stops and listens, and he did an interview with Seattle Sports on this Seahawks team and weighed in on Mike McDonald and the Seattle Seahawks and had some very uh, kind words to say about Mike McDonald specifically. And we'll show you what he had to say, but kind of want to give you a resume look at Chris Peterson before we go over piece by piece. Maybe you're not a college football fan and – just need an idea of who we're talking about here. Uh, Chris Peterson, former coach at Washington and Boise State, took the Huskies to the college football playoff. He was the head coach for the Boise State team that beat Oklahoma in the Fiesta Bowl. We all remember the Statue of Liberty play. Seven combined conference titles in three different conferences, a three-time college football coach of the year. So we say all this to say that when he has something to – say about this Seahawks team, then he might know a thing or two. He knows what he's talking about. The first thing that Peterson pointed to was on Mike McDonald that he's extremely, extremely smart. Said it twice. And let's dive into what he had to say specifically. He's extremely, extremely smart. I've had the chance to talk to a, him a couple different times, and you can tell. I think of him as laying in the weeds, and he's just listening, taking it all in, and sometimes doesn't say a whole lot, and he just processes and digests it. And then when he does say something, it's usually really well thought out. And this goes right along the lines of what we've heard about Mike McDonald. The comparisons that he's gotten is that he's the Sean McVay of defense. And Sean McVay, of course, a young head coach, uh, one of the best offensive minds in football, known for his photo memory and how he memorizes everything. Well, Mike McDonald, we've heard similar traits about the Seahawks head coach, specifically when it comes to the defensive side of the ball. And if all of that is true, like what Chris Peterson is saying, like what people have said about Mike McDonald for the last several months, then Seattle really found a gem right here. And it's not just about being a smart guy, but applying it on the football field as well, right? And we saw that with Mike McDonald's defenses there with the Baltimore Ravens, where it wasn't just the personnel that he had, but getting the most out of the personnel with schemes uh, schematically on the football field. And that's one thing that he did a great job of there in Baltimore last year. They were the first defense in NFL history to lead the league in points allowed, takeaways, and sacks. Credit where credit's due. That's good coaching there, folks. While we mention Chris Peterson, and since we're talking a little college football today, what's your favorite memory of Coach Pete? Is it something he did with the Huskies, taking them to the playoff and winning the Pac-12? Is it those Boise State teams with Ian Johnson and Jared Zabransky. I know ball, folks. I know college football. I love me some college football. Weigh in. Let me know what comes to mind when you think of Coach Pete. Folks, you got to subscribe to Seattle Seahawks today as we're bringing you daily news and rumors. We're doing our live shows 
twice a week starting next week here on Seahawks Today. We're also going to be bringing you watch parties for every single Seahawks game this season. Daily news and rumors, breaking news and more. It's all in one place right here on Seattle Seahawks Today. Trying to get to 55,000 subscribers before week one. You can see we're just over 100 away from reaching that next milestone. For the latest happenings on your favorite team each and every day, subscribe now for free, youtube.com slash Seahawks TV. The other thing that Peterson pointed to in our second takeaway was he's well-trained. And Peterson took a big emphasis on McDonald of pointing to who he's worked with and how well-equipped he is for this moment to be the Seattle Seahawks head coach. That although the young age, he's put in the work. He's learned from the best to get to this point to be here. Peterson saying the following, he's well-trained. I think being around the Harbaugh brothers, those guys know how to win football games. And I think both those Harbaugh's are much different in their styles, but the common thread, if they know how to win. And so he's seen that. And that's a a big key there. And, And you think about the football pedigree that he's come from and taking elements from each, right? I mean, you know, we, we talked about John Harbaugh, uh, as a guy that is, kind of more laid back, right? And Mike McDonald's kind of taking that approach of being a player's coach. But then also trying to balance out things of, you know, you have your best player's interest in mind where you're still going to be hard on them when you need to be. We've seen how Mike McDonald has talked about Byron Murphy and trying to push him uh, to get the most out of him. And, and he's been, you know, kind of hard on him throughout this offseason and trying to pick those elements and, and part of that, I think, also resembles your coaching staff uh, of where you've come from. Bringing in a guy like Leslie Frazier, who has been a head, head coach before. Jay Harbaugh on this coaching staff, the son of Jim, and uh, was the special teams coordinator at the University of Michigan. All of that applies here. And if you look at Mike McDonald, this is what we're talking about. Not only the Ravens defensive coordinator from 2022 to 2023, the Michigan defensive coordinator from 20, in 2021 under Jim Harbaugh, both those Harbaugh brothers, and there's another name. And we talked about this guy a lot when uh, Mike McDonald got hired, but haven't talked about him recently, Mark Richt. And Mark Richt was the head coach of the University of Georgia, was at Miami, and was a consistent winner. Although he wasn't what Kirby Smart is now, at Georgia, turning that program into the parental powerhouse that it is, the favorites to win the college football national title this year. Mark Rick had such a good track record and was well-respected. That's who McDonald was with in his early days, and there's a lot to take away from that as well. So to hear that, I think it's a great point from Peterson to talk about how he's well-trained of going through that track record despite the young age. It's all there for Mike McDonald. Do you believe in the new Seahawks head coach? Are you all in? Type B for believe, type D for don't. Let us know your confidence in Mike McDonald. Got a great deal we're offering Seahawk fans right now. Byron Murphy, we we're just talking about him a moment ago. We got his jerseys on sale now at chatsports.com slash Murphy. Add a nine to that one. And we have the home jersey, the road jersey. Got the alternate option for you as well. Men's and women's sizes. Go see for yourself. Chatsports.com slash Murphy to get yours today. We also have free shipping available. Still time to get yours before the start of the season. The link is in the comments and description of today's video. Chatsports.com slash Murphy to get yours now. Number three on our takeaways from Chris Peterson's interview talking about Mike McDonald and the Seattle Seahawks. This is where Seattle comes in. And all the time when it comes to head coaches and players, we talk about the fit. And for Mike McDonald here, he walks into this Seahawks team into a successful organization. He is being handed a very good vehicle. The keys that he's been given, this is not your used car that's been sitting in the back that uh, you've been worried about the kids beating up on that's been through a few accidents. No, this was one of the best vehicles that was available in this uh, round of the coaching carousel. And there's an expectation there already based on what Pete Carroll has built. You think about this. The Seahawks moved on for the most successful head coach in franchise history in Pete Carroll. 
because they were not meeting the standard that had been previously set by Pete Carroll. That's a sign of just how good things are with the, the situation that he's been presented here in Seattle. Peterson saying this, that's a pretty, uh, as we know, successful organization and kind of uh, left with Pete moving on. But John's still there in that system of evaluating players and how they've done things. And so the blend of Mike's vision and John's vision, I think, is going to be really cool. What I think is hard is when they blow up the entire organization, bring in a new GM, new president, and all these type of things and say, okay, what are we creating here? Sometimes you need to do that, but that's a much heavier lift than what they are going what's what's going on over there and written with the Seahawks, in my opinion. Look, I say this all the time. Uh, Bill Self, I mentioned the University of Kansas. I gotta bring in a Bill Self quote. I know it's basketball. But Bill Self would say all the time that when it comes to the University of Kansas basketball program, faces change, but expectations don't. And I think the same thing could be applied here with this Seattle Seahawks team in this transition from Pete Carroll to Mike McDonald, that although there's a new face, that the expectation doesn't change. The reason why Pete Carroll isn't here, this team fell short last year. They missed the postseason, had a 9-8 and campaign, they underachieved. Mike McDonald... The goal in mind, get this team back to the playoffs. Meet those expectations and raise the bar as you have an even more talented team than last year's squad who missed the playoffs and had that 9-8 and eight record. Three straight 9-8 and eight seasons, I think we would feel like would be a, a bit disappointing. You look at the track record. We talk about the organization, right? This team's made the playoffs in seven of the last ten years. They have 11 division titles, the last in 2020, three conference titles, the last in 2014, The last Super Bowl win, of course, coming in 2013. The Seahawks have work to do. The ultimate goal is to get back to that, right, of winning division titles, conference titles, and ultimately competing for Super Bowls. Is it going to be overnight? Absolutely, it's not going to be overnight. But this year is about setting the tone and putting yourself in that position to build this thing up to get back to the Seahawks' winning ways of where they were at just a few years ago. What will the Seahawks' record be this season? Way in. Let us know in the comments section of what you think that will be here in 2024. If you enjoyed today's show, want to show some love to your favorite college football team, you're excited about this college football season, like the video, we'd certainly appreciate it. I'm Tyler Jones. We'll see you next time here on Seahawks Today.